Hi guys, it's Becky again here at Aunt Beck's Creations and I just thought I would bring you on and maybe work a little bit at a time as and do process videos of how I turned a mailer into the cover for a journal. I haven't added the pages to this one yet but I'm going to eventually. But I want to show you what I start with. Like these here these came off from bath mats, but I thought it looked like the perfect cover for a book. So I've got two of those. And then I've got this little mailing came in here, and it's just a trifold. And see, this one was one of those as well. I have just scored a little bit from each one to make it into one that I could add pages and have sp spaces for. So I'll show you how I add that distance to it. I'll get my scoreboard here. All right. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to just come over a half an inch. So you've got your first panel and then here's your first fold. If you come over a half an inch from that and score down, So that gives you a fold there. Then you need to look at it, how it's going to hit here. So you're going to want to do a half an inch from this fold toward this direction. I'm going to just line this up, this fold here with the five, and I'll come over to five and a half. So there we go. And I can see I messed up there. <laughs> see, I even I make boo-boos. So this one actually I'm not going to worry that that's folded there, but I'm going to come back on this one. I can make this firm again. So if we fold that in, and then when we fold it there, then you get more of a true fit. Yes. There we go. All right. So what I will do All right. I'm going to put a strip of washi tape all the way around on the one that I messed up on. Let me grab some washi tape real quick. I'll just make a mild repair here. Just something to reinforce it since I got, I scored in the wrong place here.
All right. And then the other thing I would do is I would round the corners. So I'm going to grab my corner rounder. So don't throw away those mailings that come in. You can turn them into journals. All right. There we go. So that's how you turn a tri level tri fold into a journal cover. All right, so I usually, when I'm working on these, I'll do two or three at a time. So what I might do is just do that for a little while. And this will be the first step you do. We're going to add papers to this. And I've got, whoops, this is my paper scrap bucket. I'm just going to grab it from it and Put, use matte medium here I'm just going to add the stuff to this All right. got my old paintbrush here use tissue right now. I just we'll just grab this bag of little bits out of paper. And it's got all kinds of paper and I'm not going to be particular. I'm just going to grab some out. Tear this stuff up, any, all different sizes, okay? And I'm just going to make different tiles for each paper. And it's not going to matter what's on the paper because by the time we're done, these will all be in the background. This is just going to add some texture. And I do all the pre tearing beforehand so that I can just grab and paste and grab and paste like that. And since this is double-sided paper, you can use sometimes this side of the paper and sometimes that side of the paper. So I'm just going to add this on here, and you can rough it up if you want to. And you just keep layering it on until you have the whole thing covered. And this will be step one. And the reason I work on several at once 
is while the outside of this is drying, I can work on the next one and the next one. And then when I get this one done and I go back and I trim the edges off the others, then I can start doing the inside of the very first, this one after I do those other two. And don't even worry about the corners, okay? And just layer it on up. The only place you don't want to get real thick with it is where your scores are in the original paper. I'd use Mod Podge if I had it, but I'm totally out. And I'm trying to use the lighter, pa lighter weight papers where it's going to need to be rescored. Just to make it easier to score, rescore it. Here we go. Oh. Sorry, I'm listening to Criminal Minds while I do this on Netflix. I've been re-watching them all. <laughs> And a bad guy's resurfaced that I thought would be gone for a while, but he's back. It's not going to end well. I can tell you all that right now. It's not going to be good. So you see I got that side all goopied up. I'll do the other side here. 
I'm just turning it so y'all can see what I'm doing. And I'm only going to do this one side with y'all because it's pretty straightforward. And I'll come back in a few minutes and um, we'll start on the back sides of them. But I'm not going to do every front side with y'all. That way I can break this up and hopefully it won't be a, too long. But I kind of like the videos where you can craft along with somebody. I don't know about the rest of you, but I think it's a lot of fun. And I especially love live ones, live performances, but I mean, or live shows, but I don't have those capabilities at the moment. Maybe in the future, but not right now. Um, no. I'm trying not to put the same paper exactly next to it itself. Like, no, I didn't want to put that polka dot next to that. And you don't even worry about what you're placing, really. And don't worry about it hanging off the edge because we're going to trim that back before we start doing the other side. Oh dear. It's not looking good for Gideon. What kind of shows do y'all like to watch? I love anything to do with law and order and that kind of stuff. I guess that's easy to tell because I have a criminal justice degree that I just don't use. I could never get around the whole gun thing. I don't like guns. I don't like them at all. Okay, so we'll pick that up and show it to you. 
all covered up and that's step one I'll be back with step two of doing the, the next step or showing you the back side okay